doing it. We're here. Hi! What's up? Hi, Hi everyone. What? Hi, Eddie. Did Christy <laughs> just say? What did Christy say? I said sorry, Carol, because I was calling. Oh, you were home. Oh, God. I thought she was done. She was like, "I'm gonna be done at 8. Yeah, and then she, she just pushed it. it. My girl, listen, we gotta go. We're going on now. There it is. Ooh, there it is. I don't know why I'm dancing. I'm happy today. You know, every it's it's a roller coaster of emotions right now. One day I'm happy, the next day I'm sad. It's good to be happy. <laughs> you wanna see my slot? <laughs> Got it in the mail? Yeah, the big squid's up in Andy's room already. <clears throat> Here he comes. He's just a cute little baby. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. I know. He's the perfect Aww. tiny size. He's so cute. He really is. Aww. I don't know what to do with him. The squid is huge and my dog's afraid of it. <laughs> really? Yes. That's probably a good thing because, uh, yeah, <laughs> you don't want any... The squid is huge and my dog... <laughs> we just wanted to make sure you knew my dog is afraid of the squid and then it's huge. <laughs> yeah. Extra emphasis. <laughs> I didn't know it was still going. Uh. Do spices ever go bad? Yeah. Like, I got some, like, whole nutmeg here that you're supposed to, like, you know, grind yourself. Yeah. Is that okay? <laughs> I don't know. I don't I would, know how old it is. I would, I would use it, like, maybe, like, six months past expiration. Depending what it is. I don't know if it has an expiration date on it. That's how old it is. Hmm. I don't know about that. Nah, it does not have an expiration date. <laughs> Hi, Gina. Hey, Addy. Hi, Patty. Hey, Kara. What's up, bees? Hey, Patty and Kara. I'm just pulling out these cute little things. I got another one of these little guys because they're so cute. Hey, Julie. Oh, and I got really old dolls from, it, from Italy. I've got two really old in the box dolls from Italy. I don't know who's going to be into that, but. Dude, Hi, Lana. Hi, Serenity Journey. But I got them. Hey, Lana. Hello, Serenity. Nice to meet you. They seem to know us. Are you someone that we already know and you've changed your name? Any cloths? Yeah, I can show some cloths. <laughs> cloths. I got you, Karen. I got you. All love. That doll was a smidge creepy. Just saying. I don't have clothes tonight. I've got random stuff and stones. And huh? Stones. Random stuff and stones. Still don't know what you said because my phone is like... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, James? I sound like robot. What's that, James? Oh, hey, James. <laughs> AKA, AKA this, AKA that. What you got? 50 channels? Storage, storage scavenger, AKA amputee adventures? Huh? No, I think it's a different different one. There's oh, two okay. different James. James is this. Yeah. James is this. this. Yeah. Well, well account, you do not have twelve accounts. Look how cute this little chick magnet is. Oh, isn't that cute? Aw. <laughs> That's Ray Dunn. Yeah, I found some uh, brand new Ray Dunn items at a garage sale. It was um basically the same price as getting it at you know getting it at the place that I find it. So yeah. Didn't save much money, but they're cute. So I figured why not? We'll try. I'm not amputee, James. No, yeah, you're the other James. Uh, there's a there's James's. He, he's amputee James, and he's also Mickey called James. What's this? Is this stuff I got for me? That is. Oh, that one's open. Aww. All right, we're going to get this party started. Hey, Jewel T. 
Just a warning. Hey, I'm going to get my coffee first. Okay, babes. Okay. Deuces, do, deuce, deuces to you and yours. <laughs> I can't. It's fine. Uh, we're going to start this first thing off with homemade cookie and cake decoration kit. Comes with one cookie press, 12 nozzles, and six cookie molds. I am. I haven't opened it yet, so I'm going to open it real quick, make sure everything's in here. And I don't know what I paid for any of this. Um, yeah, it all looks like it's brand new in there. Looks looking good, looking good. And uh, we'll start this guy off at, we'll do eight bucks. I feel good today, Patty. And tomorrow I'll probably feel bad. And the next day I'll feel good. And, you know. All over the place. Andy wants me to go see a therapist, <laughs> so we'll see how that works out. And then my mom wants me to get on some medication because she thinks I have what she has. Oh, it's a bee! Okay, that's so cute. Look, where's Joanne? It's got a bee thing. Or maybe that's a moth. That could be a moth. To me, it looks like a bee, though. It's cool. So, yeah, got this guy. Eight bucks on him. Gina, how many you want to do? Uh, One, three. five, ten, twenty. Three? Huh? Three? I like doing three. Gives us a longer break. Such a basic bitch. Just kidding. <laughs> hey, <Joanne. laughs> Hi, Pat. Um, I said hi to Patty. Hi, Joanne. I'm, I'm in a good mood today. But honestly, it's like yesterday was a bad day. The day before that was a good day. The day before that was a bad day. So I'm assuming tomorrow is going to be bad, but I'm hoping that it's a good day um, because I have a lot of more work I have to do before we leave for like the ceremony of life and then the wedding and stuff. So, you know, hey, so Pat. this cookie cutter thing is eight bucks. Hey, Pat. And I thought this looked like a bee, but it might be like a moth or a butterfly. Which is a cookie and cake decoration kit. It's eight bucks if anybody wants it. If you want it, let me know. All right. This is a piece of Ray Dunn. I'm going to do this guy at a $20 start. It is brand new. And it's, it's like a covered cup. Like a weird covered mug with like a chick head. And it says Chick Magnet. One of Andy's friends. It's a, Andy's friend that passed away? No, no. One of his friends is getting married. And he's oh. in the wedding. So it's a cute little chick magnet guy. Well, that's yeah. a happier thing than a funeral, that's for sure. Mm-hmm. Pat's in at 20, Joanne's in at 21. Cool beans. It is cute, right? It's basically, I don't want to open it because it's like all together like this, and so I'll wrap it like this. But it's like a mug, but the mug's a little bit bigger than the other mugs, and then it has like this top part to it, so I don't really understand what it is. Some reason. Oh, maybe it's. Some reason I that and I hear a chicken. It's the size of a mug. I've got this grateful mug available for fifteen bucks if anybody wants it, by the way. Put him over there. Got Pat in at twenty-two. Joanne, let me know how you're feeling. There's little bugs everywhere and they are starting to get on my nerves. Did you know that Ray's middle name is all? What, Ray all done? Is that what you mean? Joey is at a 25. Hey, mama. Who means? Hey, mama? Elizabeth. Yeah, your mom's in the house. Hi, mom. I don't see it. She says super cute, the mug, too. Oh, there she is. Hey, Elizabeth. <laughs> Hi. Joanne comes in at 28. Pat is out. Skis. Beans. Mm 
redone chick magnet. And then, like I said, that is a mug that says grateful. Yep. It's a mug that says grateful. And that guy's just 15 bucks by it now. If you want it, let me know. And okay, there's more Ray Dunn in there. We'll do that in a second. Let me. I'll just make this mug my third item. That way we don't get confused. So this mug is 15 bucks. It says grateful. It's also brand new. This cute little mug here. If anybody wants that guy, he's 15 bucks. Just toss it in the chat for me. Thank you, guys. My eye is itchy, apparently. And we'll go on to Gina, and I'll get the rest of the stuff ready for you. Thank you. All right. I've got this cute uh, canvas picture, and it's going to be a dollar buy it now. Dollar buy it now for this canvas floral picture. Hi, my fairy. It's about eight and a half by eight and a half. Hi, Denise. Hey, sweet sugar plum. Hey, everybody. Just a pretty floral print on a canvas. You can hang or you could repaint it and do your own thing on it. It's a dollar buy it now. All right. Next, I have this star basket. It's a metallic and this is a dollar start. Dollar starting bid. Oh, Lana. That canvas is yours. Thank you. Thank you, Lana. All right, this is a dollar starting bid. It's like a metallic silver star basket. And there's this one tiny little flaw that I noticed. The metallic is rubbing off right there. Just a little bit. My mother-in-law said you could put like a red and a uh, blue flower and decorate for like July 4th with it. That was a cute idea. Denise is in at one. Thank you, Denise. Denise. Denise, did you get my email? I, I photographed every single jewelry box I have and I sent it to you. Did you show something else? Because Lana came in at one, too. Yep, she nabbed the canvas that I showed earlier. And that was a buy it now. Oh, okay. Yep, all good. It's in great, great condition. Looks hardly used, except for that little rubbing off of the silver right there. It says made in China sticker. If there's no other interest, we can just call it to Denise. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just making weird mouth noises. Don't mind. <laughs> How do you open this? No problem, Christy. All right, that's sold to Denise. Thank you, Denise. And then my third item is going to be a designer it's like a deck cake decorating kit lot I'll put that in
And this is going to be a starting bit of a dollar. Whoa. And there are these new in box decorating kits. And um, this one is good until July 28th of this. Nope, that was last year. And then this one's good till 2022. I'm not sure if this is still edible or not, but um, they're decorations. Still really cute. You got carrots, like an Easter theme. And then this one again is like a rabbit. Rabbit theme to decorate your cake to look like a rabbit. And they're, they're both edible, but again, the one that expired, I'm not sure if that one's still edible, although I would probably still eat it because it's pretty much just sugar, powdered egg whites, natural flavors, and then a whole bunch of like preservatives and then colors, but this one is still good. All right. Yeah, it's for the whole lot, uh, Sugar Plum, so you're in for one. Thank you. Hi, Cindy. They come together. Together we can shoot the moon, stop the rain, even ride a hurricane. If you and the boxes are just a little, <laughs> just a little bent up there. Hey, Cindy. Everything looks intact. Oh, Cindy, I'm taking a picture of your invoices and sending them over to you tonight. Okay. So if you're worried about it, it's still happening. I got you. If nobody wants those, I'll take them. But uh, I think Barry's in at a dollar, isn't she? Yep. Sugar Plum's in for a dollar. Wow. No other interest. I'll start calling it to Sugar Plum. I saw that, Denise. Thank you. I'm assuming you want me to get it out uh, right away. Let me know. I will, Pat. Out. No worries, Denise. No, my mom doesn't have depression. It's something else. Actually, I think she just has anxiety. Thank you, Sugar Plum. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Hey, Marty. All right. That was my three. Thanks, ladies. My goal every time you talk is to interrupt you. How am I doing? <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I think I'm doing pretty good. All right. Um, next guy. This is Ray Dunn. It is a $20 start as well. And this one says T. And the top of it has like a little lemon wedge. And it's got a bright yellow handle. It's super cute. I love it. Um, yes, besides like six dollars, maybe. So we got the tea guy for 20. More, yeah. yes. I sent your package out um, a few days ago. You bet it's yellow inside too. That'd be really cool. I don't think it is. I don't want to break it trying to figure it out, but that's super cute. That'd be adorable. Pats in at 20 for the Radon Tea Cup. Anybody want to come in at 21? So, yeah, Maury, um, you're paid up except for yesterday. Which is a couple bucks, I think. And then you got some stuff from the Buy It Now video I put up, too. Joanne's in at 21. Pat's in at 22. And then besides this guy, I've got two more Ray Dunn items. If that's what you're looking for. I love this one. He's so cute. I love him. I like him more than the chick magnet one, actually. <laughs> Call me crazy. Pat's in a 22. Joanne, how are you? That was a dance. What happened to Pat? Oh, me too. Feel that. Feel that. Yeah, I was never I was never like this until I went through some things. Yes, Cindy, I did. I did, I did. Um, and it's I've got it all wrapped up for you, and it's with your uh your stuff that'll go out once I invoice you, but I'm gonna wait to invoice you until um 
we get the last uh, invoice thing figured out, okay? That way we don't make it no more confusion, okay? So once we're on the same page about the last stuff, I'll invoice you for this stuff. And hopefully that's good. Oh, that's cute, Elizabeth. All right, Joanne comes in at 25. Pat is out. Ray Dunn T. Okay. Um, we'll break it up a little bit. I'm going to count down and sell it to Joanne. We're going to go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. We are sold to Joanne for $25. Thank you very much. This is a white clay pottery vase from Aruba. It's super cute. It's got these cute little things tied on the front of it. And then it says Aruba right there on the inside with the colorful glaze. Here is the bottom, and I'm going to do, we'll do a $12 start on this one. $12 start. One $2 start. $12. I don't remember who else was looking for one like this, but this is kind of similar to the other one I have. This one's a little bit more colorful, um, but it's along the same line, so when I found it, I picked it up. And that is a $12 start. Super cute. Love them. It's definitely adorable. Any interest in this guy? I am, Denise. I'm doing better today. Every day is a bit of a mystery. <laughs> I love you. He's so cute. All right. Well, he's $12 if anyone's interested. I thought you guys would go nuts. Maybe I'll show it later. Hmm? All right. Let's see. <clears throat> Hello. Joanne's in a 12. That's why she's going to the poorhouse. Okay, I get it now. My bad. <laughs> if there's no other interest, we'll go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We are sold to Joanne for 12. Thank you, thank you. I'm going to do this big guy, and then I'll show you um, the last piece, but I will, mm -hmm. I'll, 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 hi, hang on. I'm going to show you the biggest piece of Ray Dunn I have, and then I'll show you the last piece that I have. Um, that way it's all congruent, and uh, I just, I get that taken care of, and then when Gina comes up, I'll just let her show four. So this guy is big. He is a big Ray Dunn. He says hop on the back of him and he has like a little Easter basket that you'd put stuff in. And this guy is a $25 start. I love you too. So this one is a $25 start. Again, he's big, but he's not like super heavy. Like he's probably weighs a, a little bit less than like the big canisters that I sold before. He's just a large size. And he's cute. <laughs> awesome, Kara. Who cool beans? I got it. I see it. And I'll get you shipped out, darling. I'll be working on shipping stuff after this. 
Elizabeth, put your jelly beans in this. It's a big guy. I'm going to weigh him real quick because I wonder how much he weighs compared to those canisters. So he's a $25 start. He was the most expensive piece I bought. He's a big one. Yeah, he is almost two pounds. So he's almost two pounds. He's not too bad. I think the, the canisters were like three, three pounds and something. So he's like a pound lighter. Well, I want to make sure I get everything out, Kara, because I'm um I'll be leaving for a few days, and I want to make sure that I'm all caught up with everything before I leave. That way, I don't have to be stressed out while I'm gone. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, girl? Tell me you know what I'm saying. Because <laughs> it can be, it can be really easy to get behind. Like I'm behind with invoicing, and with shipping a little bit by like a day or so. So I'm gonna catch up on that tonight. I don't know if I'll get caught up on shipping, but oh, I don't know if I'll get caught up on invoicing, but I'll get caught up on shipping. All right, Elizabeth, you're missing the perfect jelly bean holder, girlfriend. Even says hop. <laughs> All right, we can call it to Joanne if no one else is interested. This guy's going to be super fun to wrap. Big bunny. All right, and then I'll show the last thing, which I think is the cutest. Like, it's my favorite apart from the tea, the tea one. Wait a minute. I, I've got Pat before the sold, so Pat's, mm -hmm. in, it. Pat's in at 26. Let me erase that real quick. Whoa, Snipe. So, the, the next the next two weeks of my life is kind of insane. Um, Joanne, let me know if you want to come in at 27, darling. I'm sorry. She came right on in. She's like, bam. So, I'm leaving Thursday night to go 12 hours to North Dakota because so it's a 12 hour drive from here to North Dakota and on Friday there's a celebration of life for someone who passed away in Andy's family um and then I think they're also having like a like a family reunion but we can't stay because on Saturday his friend is getting married and he's in the wedding so we're driving 12 hours from here to North Dakota to be there for a couple hours and then we're driving straight back so that we can be here for the wedding on Saturday because of how far away it is. If we had like money, we would just fly, <laughs> but it's going to be cheaper um, for us both to just drive. And then Sunday night, Sunday night at some point, um, his family will get here and uh, maybe Monday, Sunday or Monday, uh, his mom, his dad is, and his brother and sister are coming and they're driving like an RV here. So, They'll get here at some point and then they're going to be here for a whole week. And then next weekend, uh, like right when they're leaving, which is Father's Day weekend, I'm having my garage sale. <laughs> so I'm going to have my garage sale and then I'll be home for a couple days. And then on Wednesday, so not next week, Wednesday, but the Wednesday after, I'm leaving to go to Illinois to go see Leanne. <laughs> I'll be at Leanne's house for two days and then... At that Friday is my stepdad's birthday and we're having a big party. So I don't know if I'm going to just drive back home the four and a half hours and go to the party and then drive all the way back over to Indiana, which is like a six and a half hour drive. So I can see my godmom and stay with her for the weekend and then come back home. That part's a little ish. So, you know, I don't know. <laughs> and so the last couple of weeks of my life are very chaotic. So this week we're getting the house cleaned and organized for his parents to come over. Um, Cause we've been in the house for like a year now and we're not like totally unpacked yet. So we're doing that still. And uh, then I've got this. So I've got to make sure I'm keeping up with everything here. So anyways, yeah, I'm busy. All right. 
So, and I'm happy today. Okay, so Joanne's getting this one for 29. Cool beans. Cool beans. And I got two really cute butterfly brooches and I just dropped one because I wasn't paying attention. So love that. Love it so much. All right, the last thing uh, is one of the cutest. And it says farm fresh. And it's an egg holder for six eggs. And this one, I think I can do, I can do a $15 start on this one. So $15 start on this guy because I don't, I don't remember what I paid for him. I remember what I paid for the other ones, but this one is just drawing a blank. So it says farm fresh and it's a six piece egg holder, which is so cute. Like, hi. Awesome. Well, that is awesome, Joanne. I have had a couple things break, unfortunately. Um, but it's only been two items that I'm aware of. And uh, one of them oh my God, was that beautiful crystal ice bucket that Carolyn got. <laughs> it broke my heart. And, like, where it shipped is so weird. Like, I about had a brain aneurysm with that one. It was awful. And then the sad part is, is that I haven't even, I haven't put in the, I have to put in a thing to the post office, like a claim or whatever. And I haven't done that yet. And I need to do that. But I already refunded her. That way, if I never get around to it, I don't have to worry about it. And she can be happy. Farm fresh. We got Pat at 15. Joanne, you gonna fight her? Or you gonna let, are you gonna let her have it? Hey, Anna. What's up, girl? How you doing? I gotta find this this brooch. Oh, and your moose broke. I forgot about your moose. All right, three things. Whatever. Nobody's perfect. Besides that, I've done pretty good. Chacha always tells me that you shouldn't talk about things breaking, but it happens to everybody. And um, I do my best. Joanne's at 16. Hey, Jess. Pat's in at 17. You'll be here in a week. Well, less than a week. Less than a week. Jess is Andy's sister. And I'm sure she's going to want to do the live with me. Maybe. You do know I got to work while you're here still. I still have to go live. You can help me if you want. And this one. I don't even know if this one weighs a pound. Nope. Not even a pound, baby. Pat's in at 19. Wait, what? <laughs> Hang on. Oh, because Joanne came in at 18 and then Pat comes in at 19. Okay. Well, don't be sad. I gotta, you know, it's it's my job. It shouldn't take up too much time, though. I'll just do, like, short little lives. Because I'm sure that we'll be... I know we're, we're doing a bunch of things, so... I'll be available to do things. If anything, I'll go live in the middle of the night. It'll be okay. Alright, so Pat got this one for 19, right? Are we calling it? Redone egg holder. I love this guy. I hope you love him, too. Pat. Okay, Gina, you ready? Yep, I'm here. Okay. Uh, go ahead and show four items since I did, okay? You sure? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I did. I did, I did, Joanne. All right, I have this really cute rabbit bowl. Teresa! Hey, Teresa. <laughs> hey, Jess. Uh, this is going to be a $2 start. $2 start for the rabbit bowl. It's very cute. It's just sticker residue I was trying to get off. Oh, Christy went. I'm eating Twizzlers. 
I thought of you when I saw them at the store the other day. I'm like, man, I haven't had Twizzlers in years. Miranda sure had a good idea, but I stopped eating like Red 40 years ago. <laughs> they look so good, though. I can't help it. I had them. I, I got them um, for Cha Cha Strip, and then I've just been like craving them and eating them since then. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Joanne. This, I got the sticker <laughs> residue off. Joanne's in at two. Michelle P got to come in at three. Seems to be unbranded. Has a cute little bunny in the center. I should probably wrap this stuff while I got free hands, huh? <laughs> Joanne, are we celebrating Easter tonight? Right? I don't know how that happens. <laughs> Miranda was showing bunnies too, I heard. <laughs> How dare you not watch me? I'm so rude. What were you doing? Taking a nap? I was I was tracing stuff. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> I got a bunch of new phones in and I didn't even price them yet, so I was doing that. <laughs> and Elizabeth keeps buying jelly beans. <laughs> <laughs> I told y'all we're a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait for... I think Christmas in July is going to be the weirdest thing this year. I don't know if people are going to be down for it. Yeah. I don't know why. I don't, I don't really like picking up Christmas stuff either. Let's do Christmas in September this year. Let's change it on them, huh? <laughs> F Christmas in July. Christmas in September. Spread it around. Let's go. <laughs> Spread it around, spread it around. You need Easter stuff? Who does? I don't think I have any more Easter stuff. Oh, really, Joanne? All right, Michelle P., hi, bit of four. Joanne just went out. Pat, are you out? I got a pair of some scary Pat looking bunnies. They kind of look like they're on drugs. You want to see them? <laughs> Jane is out. <laughs> <laughs> see, look. I mean, he's kind of cute. Yeah, he's cute. <laughs> he's a little body. <laughs> All right, looks like it's going to Michelle. Thank you, Michelle. Yeah, the arms out. Arms wide open. Oh, right, I'm wrapping stuff. Joanne. All right, next up, I have a wooden sign. It's a $2 start. It says, want breakfast in bed? Sleep in the kitchen. <laughs> yep. It's wood. You could even paint it if you don't like it and put something else on it. $2 start. Amen, Sugar Poem says. It's just uh, just a pinch over nine inches long. The sad thing is there's plenty of people that will sleep in the kitchen for that. <laughs> Alright, and Jess, you're not being ignored. Hi, Jess. She took away the little blue wrenches, except for the ones that... No! And you can't make me. And even if I wanted to, I can't, because I don't have my laptop over here. <laughs> She's always got excuses, doesn't she? All right. Well, if anyone's interested in that sign, just let me know. My third item is going to be a mug, a Jeff Dunham mug, and it's going to be a $4 start. It is microwave and dishwasher, dishwasher safe. And that is just a mark, I believe. Distributed by LTD Commodities, dishwasher, microwave safe. All the different faces are definitely. Wow. 
four dollars start. And there's just like a little black mark. Let me see if I can get it off. Magic eraser. Alcohol. Yeah, a little black mark will come off with a little elbow grease, I think. Okay, Christy. <laughs> Fairy. <laughs> oh girl you're gonna love the little coffee bar that i have accumulated and i have a frother now I'm not trying to brag or anything but i feel like an accomplished adult because i can wake up whip up some milk into like frothiness okay i'm really excited <laughs> Hi, Just, the first time i used it was really funny <laughs> all right Jeff Dunham mug, if anyone's interested, just let uh, me know. Yes, I'll take it. And then my fourth item. Hey, give me the Ray Dunn mug. Oh, you mean or Jeff the, Dunham? The Jeff Dunham mug. <laughs> Damn it, Joanne. Okay. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Miranda. Get you tag out of here. I think Andy really likes him, but I honestly can't remember. So we'll just find out when it comes in the mail. <laughs> okay. I'm like, here you go, honey. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Oh, anyways, so I've got, I have a Keurig, a coffee pot maker, and then I have like a weird ninja coffee maker, and then I've got the frother, frother and a little espresso maker thingy, and then I've got three different syrups, a bunch of different K-pods for like chai tea, apple cinnamon tea, a bunch of different coffees, hot chocolate. I got the things, girl. You can't eat all, but you're welcome to have some coffee. So anyways. <laughs> Or, all right, I already typed this in, Christy. I didn't know you were back. It's a cute little blue dinosaur. It's a three dollars start. The oh, is is oh ceramic. Cute. Yep, ceramic, like baby blue dinosaur. Really cute. Whoa. No tips <laughs> that I can see, except for just this little mark up here. Tiny little oh, the marks on the um spikes. Did, not really did, chips though. Did you see Jess wanted the denim mug? Who did? Who? Oh, Jess. Jess? I thought you said Jeff. Jess oh. is not. Jess is not allowed to buy things. Oh no! <laughs> Hi, Teresa. <laughs> Teresa. Yeah, Joanne, message me. I want to know what it is. If it's cool to put in the chat, you can put it in the chat. Do you guys want some Ray Dunn birdhouses? Yeah, I wonder how much they go for. I can get you, I can get you some. How many you want? <laughs> what color? <laughs> Hi, Anna. All Hi, right, Anna wants a dinosaur. Let me know. <laughs> Sounds like Miranda's got the Ray Dunn warehouse. Right? That was my for Miranda. <laughs> I'm definitely pretty sure I interrupted you. I'm sorry. You would love a Ray Dunn birdhouse? What color? I think there's blue, pink, and yellow. <laughs> they also have cute, they have clocks too. It's like a house that's a clock. Over $900! What the hell? How many birdhouses do you want? <laughs> Is it made of gold, go, Julian? Because, oh my gosh. I'll go get it tomorrow. <laughs> I'm serious. If, I can, if they still have um, the birdhouse, I can get it. You want a blue one and a yellow one? Okay. Here, let me write it down, and then I'll go I'll go get what Blue, yellow. And then, you want a pink one? Oh, don't forget pink. Cat wants pink. And I'll do these, I'll do those just because you're requesting them. I'll just do it as a buy it now, and I will email you what it is, okay? So, if anybody else wants one, let me know. 
a non-colored one. I don't know if they've got non-colored ones. They might. And then they have... I don't remember everything they have. There's, there's a lot of different things there. I sound like a robot? Hello. You're in a tunnel. Yeah, I don't know how much frothers are, but I got, I got, I got mine for four bucks of food. What was the ninja thingy? The ninja coffee thing I have? Oh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I've never used it. I don't know what was just crawling on my foot. I hope it's dead now, because it was very tickly. I swear to God, if it's a spider. <laughs> I was just thinking it's a spider from your car. <laughs> Hi, right, Joanne, I got you. Okay. Does anybody want a clock? It's like a house. It's like in the shape of a house, and it has like a clock on it. No? All right, so I'll get those. And if there's anything else that looks pretty cool, I'll get that too. It's hard because you guys already have so much stuff, so I don't want to just like get shit you already have. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. This is an alabaster candor holder. And I'm going to do this guy for a $12 start. I would use it as an incense holder. My finger goes all the way in there and then some. And it's a nice big, big piece here. But a little chunky boy. Little chunky boy. He's pretty neat. Neato bonito. Nice and smooth on the bottom. I've seen some stuff go pretty crazy just on Poshmark, which I thought was insane. People really love that Ray Dunn, man. No. <laughs> Jess is Andy's little sister. So if anyone's interested in this guy, let me know. Now I got two butterfly brooches. I'm going to do... Five dollars. So I'm gonna do five dollars a piece. Buy it now. Okay. Okay. Number one is from Carla 2018. It's a butterfly pin. I guess they're pins, butterfly pin. It's a blue butterfly that says inspire. I hate how y'all say fiance. He's my husband. <laughs> that one. And then the second one, number as as two. You, as long as you've been engaged, you're common law married, yes. Well, and we, we bought a house as being married. So, like, it's... We're technically... I call him my husband, and he calls me his wife. This is by... Paper. This is by C. Sanders, number two. And it's a pink butterfly pen. With gold tones. These days, people are just like, oh, getting that little paper is so passe. Why not just live together forever? It depends on what legal standpoint you look at it, because te technically we are legally married because we call each other husband and wife, and because of how long um, we've lived together, and because we've exchanged rings, and technically we got married in a different country, but like but, just to each other under God. So like but not for, for some things you have to have that marriage license. I've yeah, we need the marriage license for like our insurance. <laughs> so we have to go get that. All right. So those are the butterfly brooches. If you want one, let me know. And are you going to do a Facebook call when you go up to the courthouse? <clears throat> well, Andy wanted to go when they get here next week. I don't know if that was a secret. Um, if it was, my bad. <laughs> um, but we have to put in you have to like request like you have to put in an application 
to get like a marriage certificate. And then even when you do that, you have to then go get married by someone who is like allowed to marry people. I don't remember what that name is. So, you know. More legality. Actually, my husband could marry anybody. This is a unicorn. It is a unicorn stone pendant. I don't know what kind of stone it is. This guy's 10 bucks. Does it look like some kind of jasper? I was twisted between jasper or mukite. Oh, yeah, mukite. This is the color variation. Yeah. yeah, it's super cute. It's the only unicorn I have, so I'm sorry. Gina, over at your eyes. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking the same. I don't know. <laughs> it reminds me of bacon. It's very cute. It does look like bacon. <laughs> <laughs> little, little bacon unicorn. How much was your start for the pendant? Uh, it's just a buy it now for 10 bucks. Buy now for 10 dollar roonies. And that was my three. So if anybody wants it, let me know. Okay. Where am I? Here we go. Gina. Hello. <laughs> I've got this metal shovel wall hanging. Vintage 92. Painted oh, by Ewald. That's like so folk art -y, isn't Yeah. It? Hand painted. Um, and it's going to be a $3 start. There is some wear on it. There's some rust at the bottom. So just some minor wear. I actually did that cleaning it. I removed the black cleaning it. Yay me. And then there's the beautiful picture of a barn. And then there's some rust at the bottom and some just some paint chipping off there. But from a distance, it's hard to notice. Thanks, Julie. Got pretty blue bushes or flowers there. Nice scene. And uh, it's kind of long. It's uh, 14 and a half inches long. Hey, Auntie Boo. <laughs> Auntie's in at four, Julie's back in at five. Everyone knows it's Shuval. <laughs> Shuval. <laughs> There's so many ways you could make it sound French. <laughs> It is it's not my day. <laughs> so I'm just like, oh, do you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, Auntie, do you want to come in at six or are you out? Yes. <laughs> Elizabeth. <laughs> okay, that made me cackle, Elizabeth. <laughs> Remember
Miranda lives in, Ohio, in uh, Iowa. <laughs> All right, we're gonna assume the auntie's out. No. Yep, no. she's out. Okay. No. You don't get any of your demands. And if you're not careful, I will stick you in my closet under the stairs, Harry Potter style. <laughs> Watch me. <laughs> All right, I think that's going to Julie. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Julie. All right. Next, I have these two vintage mugs. There's a pair of them, they come together. And they're going to be a starting bid of $8. They're really cute. They have farm animals on them. They've got a sheep, pigs, cow, geese, a farmer. Those are so cottage poor. Yes. <laughs> See the little piggies at the bottom. You get the house and you got some sheep up here. A cow, a lady. I'll make Andy do it. That's what that's what I have him for. He does all the heavy lifting for me. And one of them big, has got a little, a big like a little chippy bit right here, just a little bit in the bottom. How much is the set? Are we breaking it up? Eight dollars for the set. Eight dollars start. I've seen how tall Andy is. I can imagine how tall you are much more than Miranda. <laughs> so you get two mugs. They're identical. They're so cute. Just imagine drinking coffee out of those mugs. Oh my gosh. <laughs> By a window while it's raining. <laughs> what a nice visual, Christy. <laughs> All right. If anyone's interested in those, just let me know. And that was my three, I think. Go ahead and show one more thing, please. Okay. All right. This is a buy it now for a dollar. It's just a set of um, clear plastic shower curtain rings. Buy it now for a dollar. Set of 12. They're, they're brand new. They're just plastic. Clear. They kind of look like those, these, like telephone cord a little bit. Which, by the way, if you have longer hair, these are awesome for hair. I love these. <laughs> I get them at the dollar store. Dollar buy it now for shower curtain rings. I can't wait till Dollar Tree is open just down the road by Walmart. Yes. Let's open it now. That'll be awesome. I love Dollar Tree. All right. Well, that was uh, four, I believe, Miranda. She's still rapping. Is she packaging now? I still have the dino for three. Cute baby blue dinosaur. Knickknack. Ceramic. I still have this wooden sign for $2. It says, want breakfast in bed, sleep in the kitchen. I think my sister-in-law would probably take that to heart. She'd be like, <laughs> okay, where's my bed? <laughs> Thank you.
And, uh, oh, Auntie, you want the shower curtain rings? You got it. Thank you, Auntie. Those are yours. It's sad. I really have to think about how to spell Jocelyn so I don't mess it up. <laughs> I'm just not used to spelling it. You could just call her Auntie or some people call her Jossie. <laughs> The sign is two dollars. Pat? It's two bucks, but worth it, Pat. I'm Maury. This is powered on in here, didn't you? Okay, hello. Maury wants the plaque. Oh, Pat came in first on my screen. She said eight, want the plaque. Yep. Oh, I want the plaque. Oh. They both put in two, and Pat's came just before Maury's. Okay. I just showed so it Maury... earlier, ladies. <laughs> I don't think Maury was Let there them earlier. bid. I mean, what... <laughs> what should I do, Miranda? Should I give it to Pat? Uh, I mean, Maury said something first and then put the two in, so... Pat came before Maury and said, is that sign a dollar, Gina? And then Maury said, I want the plaque. So oh. I don't know. It's up to you. <laughs> Maury. Oh, Maury's okay. out. Okay. Right. Okay. Sold to Pat. Yeah. Sold to Pat. Thank you, Pat. Ooh. I do have uh, stone hearts. I can show them. Uh, soon. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're like, I've got stone hearts I can show them soon. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. <laughs> All right. Doll from Venice, Italy. Jill Bredlow. I don't know if Jill Bredlow is the lady I bought these from or if that's the designer of these dolls. They come in really old packages like this. I probably I've got two. <laughs> it's going to be a choice between the two. And I'm gonna do these guys. Hmm. Oh my God, their faces are cloth, bro. Um, I'm gonna do a $15 start choice on these. So whoever has the highest bid gets to pick which one they want first. And then if there's one left, then that can go to the second highest bidder. So here's option number one. And these are both from Venice, Italy. And they are vintage dolls. And she does have um, like a knitted face. And I think they've always been in their box. I don't think they've ever been taken out. So I don't really want to touch anything in there too much. Could you squish the dolls um, a little bit and see if you feel right? I think they're, I don't know if there's like a card back there or anything like that, but this is the size for my head. So that's doll number one. And they're both from Venice, Italy. And then here's doll number two. She has a cloth face as well. I think she might have been out of her, her package before. But she's got like a black shawl on. I know it's the, not the right place, but you should, like, go into your accents, you know? <laughs> My Italian accent is not so good. Go to your Russian. <laughs> I'm not sure what her legs are made of. They're really cool. They're very neat. I like them a lot. What do they call the grannies? Bubby or something like that? Bubby? But well, I thought it was like Bubby. Oh, Bubby. I, don't I don't know. know. Let me get that. 
So these are fifteen dollars choice. Any interest in these guys? Cute dolls would be cute. Oh, we almost lost her. I caught her. You fell. Oh, okay. Okay, you caught her. Yay. We're good. Um, but yeah, put them in a glass curio. Keep them safe in a glass curio. I would recommend. Yeah, and I've never, I've never picked up a doll that had a cloth face before. Babuska. Okay. Okay. These are the oldest dolls I've ever had. They're really cool. And they're from Italy. I just love Italian things. So if anybody wants... It's okay, Lindsay. I've, I've heard it before. Babushka or Babushka. Yeah. <laughs> Joanne. So if anybody wants one of these for 15 bucks since nobody bid, let me know. $15 Italy dolls. And they are the oldest dolls ever. Jess, I appreciated your joke at first, but no more, okay? Pretty please. This is a purple flower box. And it's actually a jewelry box. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do a $6 start on this one. Just open it up. It's got a little tray thing here. And then it comes out to the bottom. How much was your start on the floor box? Six dollars. Just you've been warned. If you keep going at it, I will time you out. Don't make me do it. I've got rules now. It's just a cute little jewelry box. I thought it was pretty adorable. And if there's no interest in that guy, let me see. You just made Elizabeth show the face. Mm hmm. <laughs> I've sent Elizabeth out before. This is a little kiwi tower. Just seriously, chill. This is a Kiwi Tower. I'm going to do... Uh, we'll do 12 bucks for this guy. Is it actually Kiwi or is that Kiwi short for something else? Um, I think it's called like Kiwi Jasper, but it's technically a... Oh, okay. Okay, Technically a granite. So if anybody wants that guy, he is 12 bucks. Kitty, what are you doing? Hey, get out of here. Go. You're going to try to my thing. Next week, Jeff. Alright, so there's that guy, and that was my three. If anybody's interested in any of those, let me know, and here's Gina. Hello. Alright, I do have stone hearts. Um, I'll show some right now. We have a lapidolite and a blue appetite. These are the biggest ones I have, and then I'll show smaller ones after. These are 22 and 28. Buy it now. 22 and 28. This is a lapidolite heart. It's a big heart. The really big one, Joanne? Not yet. I'm waiting to hear back from Denise to see what she wants. It's a big heart. It is a big heart. And the blue appetite's even bigger. This is a big, chunky, puffy heart. It's blue appetite, and this one's 28. It's huge. So those are the biggest hearts I have. Super puffy. <laughs> puffy, puffy. <laughs> that is really pretty. All right, and for my second item, I'll show some more hearts. We've got a tiger's eye, and this guy is 12. 
tiger's eye. It's cool. Yeah, right? Wow. That guy's 12. And then I have two lab hearts. Joanne, let me know if you want that jewelry box, okay? And these lab hearts are 15 each. They do have a good flash. Oh, Patty, they'll take the tiger's eye. Thank you. Yeah, that one is pretty. I like him. Yeah, he's kind of unique. Thank you, Patty. Uh, I'm not playing music in the background, and I don't think Gina is either. Nope. <laughs> All right, here's the number one. Yeah. I have two lab hearts. Here's number one. These guys are 15. Ooh. Very flashy. That's number one. That's the back. And then number two. These are pretty puffy, too. Number two has some darker blue flash. Very pretty. And there's the back. Very nice hearts. It's number two. Again, there's number one. Christy, are you playing music? And there's the back. And number two is a dark blue flash. I have background noise like usual, so they might hear music, but I was muted. Yeah, I feel like you really haven't talked to us much. It could, I guess it could be from Christy. These are good size hearts, too. You saw it, Carolyn. Yeah, I don't hear anything. I showed it to you. You told me you were thinking on it. It needs a, it needs a bit cleaned up. That really big one. I don't remember the price that I asked for it. Carmen's in for 15 Oh, thank you, Carmen. Would you like number one? Or number two with a darker blue? Number one and number two. Number two is a little smaller. Yeah, but it's got like cobalt blue flash on that yeah, one side. They're, they're both beautiful. Mm-hmm. Hi, Lindsay. That'd be a good flip yeah. for that. That was that's like a really cheap price for those. Lab can go for like a ton of money. It's a great deal. Yes. I'm not supposed to use the word cheap. It's a great deal. Because it's not cheap. It's a no. great deal. <laughs> Thank you, Carmen. And if anyone wants the other one, just let me know. <laughs> I gotta retrain my wordage. <laughs> Number one is still available, very flashy. All right, and then my third item is going to be, these guys are $7 buy it now choice. We have a pink, pink, <laughs> rose quartz <laughs> owl or a uh, green fluorite Buddha. They're $7. Aww. Buy it. Aww. That little Buddha is so cute. He is. <laughs> $7. Carolyn, I think I said he was like, <laughs> he's like 45 or 50, I think, is how big he is. But I really can't remember. Maury's in for seven bucks. What can she give? Oh, Maury? thank you, Maury. Which one would you like? Hello? Oh, I see Michelle in for the other lab. Uh, was it green adventuring for the Buddha? Green fluorite. Hey. Oh, also, you're not supposed to put fluoride in water. Fluoride's water dissoluble as well. Yeah. You want the Buddha? You got it. Thank you. You hear my cat? I think she's hungry. Yeah, I picked. I picked up my kitty. She meow. Hold on, sweetie. Yeah, hi. Say Thank meow. you, Mary. And then I have the rose quartz owl left. If anyone wants that guy. Very cute. He stands. And Michelle says she wants the lab. Yep, I got her down for the lab. Look how pretty. Thank you, ladies. Oh, you're so cute. And that was my three. Oh! Inexpensive, yes. That's, that's a better word. <laughs> I'll be back. I gotta go feed my cat. Okay.
I'm going to show you. All right. I'm going to do the shirt. This, I thought my cat was going to take a poop on my printer. <laughs> that, was, that was interesting. <laughs> this is Liz Claiborne, size 4XL. It's 100% polyester, new with tags. This guy is a $10 buy it now. It's a red and white striped blouse. And then it has tied sleeves right here. And she's super cute. So it's just a $10 buy it now. New with tags. Size 4X. It's a really cute shirt. I like hey, it. and the stripes are going the right way. Vertical. <laughs> I would just look super cute with some jeans. Um, Denise, I will, we can, we can work something out. Uh, just email me and we'll figure it out in there. Especially if you want to get more than one, I can do it. I can, I can give you a pretty good deal. If you will allow it, put the unicorn on my bill and give it to Jess when she comes to see you. Fairy! <laughs> she still said for Jess. Hey, Carol! I'm wearing the hoodie I got from you. And these are really long and they get in the way of everything. Kara, it's a size 4X. And Cindy wanted number two what? Nguyen said Liz. Oh, wait, Gina, I got it backwards. All right, listen. Hang on. Cindy, I don't know what I want to is for. So, is that for Gina? Do you want the rose quartz owl? Michelle said, oh, wait, Gina, I got it backwards. Denise is going to email me. Hey, back. You did. It was a lab heart. Uh. Yeah. For sure, Kara. Hang on. And Jo Joanne's in at ten dollars, and it was a buy it now, so it's sold to her. And Cindy, I don't know what I want to is for. Okay, good lord. <laughs> All right, so Joanne got the red striped shirt. Sorry, Kara. And then the second she showed it. Maybe Cindy's lagging. Tell her to refresh. I think she might be behind a little. But um, I think Michelle is going to pass on the first one. So Cindy, if you want the first one, that one's available because the second one's already gone. Okay, listen. <laughs> All right, hang on, hang on. So Fairy's getting the unicorn pendant for Jess. Okay. Now I'll show the shirt again. So Kara, the shirt is available. And it's $10. And it is a 4XL, but it's a non-stretchy. So it would probably fit a 3XL like perfectly. Yes, I know it's pretty, and like I said, straps are going the right way. Pin stripes, not horizontal. And it's super cute. You're welcome, Carol. I was trying to help the little bit that I was there.
Paris Hassan, who's the long sleeve, I guess. Um, it's like, isn't it? Well, yeah, it's like a three fourths length to like a long sleeve. It is like a balloon sleeve and it ties down here. So you could tie it up further if you wanted to. Okay, so let me know. This guy's 10 bucks if you want him. Tell me. It is cute. And it's super, um, it's thin but not see through. Like it's a really lightweight, breathable shirt. It would not make you hot at all. Promise. All right. Love you, Carol. Christy told me I missed some cute stuff at the end, but I was getting, I was, <laughs> I had to get ready to come over here. Okay. So, Cindy, let me know you're good, girl. And then did you want the first lab heart? Because the second one's already gone. Okay. Is that the first thing I showed? I don't even know. Where have I been? Okay. Well, I've got this guy. Except this. I don't know how much it is. What the hell? Um. <laughs> We'll just do this. Uh, this is a like a cobalt blue aura coated cluster. And I'm gonna do an eighteen dollar start on this guy. I think he was twenty, but I can't find this thing. It makes a super nice jewelry display. You can put the ring inside that part. You can put it up there. I'm doing a great job displaying it right now. Okay, um, is Christina back? Oh, I'm fine. Um, okay, okay, she got your message. Did I miss something? Um, Carmen still has number two of the lab heart, correct? Yeah, yeah, Carmen came in first. Okay. But Cin I think Cindy was uh, lagging. Okay. Okay, Cindy, I'll get you for the first one. Thank you. Oh, Carol. She was really wanting it bad because it, and she just kept feeling like she was getting overlooked, but we were seeing it. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry, Cindy. Yeah, I didn't see anything come over. That one's really pretty, too, though. Thank you, Look at this big oh. chunk of fabric. Huh? Oh, uh, Joanne was saying, Christy, I hope you feel better. I told her it's just emotional crap. Oh, I'll be okay. Thank you. Yeah. They want you to be better. This is a big piece of fabric. It's got elephants on it. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it is. Or if it has anything on it. Oh, it's a curtain. It's a hundred percent polyester, made in China, printed in the USA. Okay. I think it's a curtain. It might be, I think it's a shower curtain, but it's a weird shower curtain. I guess. I would say, can you hold it up? But you're so short to me. I'm trying. <laughs> oh, no. This guy is a five dollar start. It's one of those. Where's Andy when you need him? You know, he's tall. I don't know who showers this tall. 
I well, can't I reach the shower pretty cool. I can't reach the top shower curtain usually. <laughs> it's really pretty. Ooh, almost fell. Alright. Yeah, it's super cute. Ten dollar start. Um Five, five, yeah, I love ten bucks for it, but it, it's just a shower curtain. I mean, it's really nice. It's not like a Walmart shower curtain. Super pretty. Yeah, I just thought it was some fabric. I didn't even know it was a shower curtain. Okay. Okay, so Maury's in at 10 for it. Awesome. Let's give it to Maury. I think she really wants it, and I don't see anybody else interested. Just kidding. My bad. Kara's in at 12 and Joanne's in at 15. My bad. I didn't. I blinked. It looks like a really nice shower curtain, and yeah, it's one of those that you don't put on the inside of the shower. You put on the outside of the shower. It's a nicey nice shower curtain. Oh, for that kimono thing that I did got? I miss, did I miss something? It was cute. Um, you can well, you can still bill me five bucks for it if you want. I still want it. All right, hang on. Okay, so Carmen got the blue appetite heart. Cindy, you got the other lab, the other labradorite heart, okay? Carmen's getting something else. We're all good. So Carmen got two different hearts. She got a lab heart and you got a lab heart. And then she also got a different heart. So it's all good. You still got it, darling. No confusion. Oh my God. Right. Maury came in at 25, Joanne 26. Sin Kara out, Maury in at 30. Maury said, yes. And Joanne went out, okay. It is beautiful, it's so beautiful. You could decorate your whole bathroom just around it. And I mean, you could also hang it as a regular curtain. It just, you'd have to use, like, the little hooks for it because it doesn't have, like, a, a thing for, like, a whole rod. But if you're good at sewing, you could create one. Cool it's bean. Just split it in half for two curtains. You could do that. Or just have one curtain and loop it to the side. Yeah, it's really pretty. Thank you. All right, Gina. Get over here. Here. I'm here. Good. Right. I did find another lab heart. This guy, I'll start it at a bit <laughs> just in case there's interest. I'll start it lower. Um, uh, we just finished showing the current in Cindy. This guy is an $8 start. Oh, goodness. He does have a <laughs> flash all over the front, but I got to tilt him this way for some reason. Oh, there we go. Gina, that was a, a roller coaster. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How dare you feed your cat? Carmen, Carmen claimed the uh, blue appetite heart. This one here. Not, not the lab. <laughs> $8 start for the splashy lab heart. Nope. Even the back is flashy, too. Look at that. <laughs> Carol. <laughs> Carol, you're back. 
You were on for a while. Oh, thank you, Denise. Welcome. <laughs> yes. <laughs> While well, you were on long enough, Carol, I'd be tired too. All right, if there's no other interest, we can call to Denise. Cindy, I feel like you're lagging again because I um I just mentioned that heart. I feel like it's been like three, four minutes ago. Okay, you restarted your computer. Yeah, I think she's more caught up now. Sometimes all, right. all it takes is restarting your computer, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Denise. I'll put Nina Lover, though, so I don't confuse you with the other Denise. Yeah, because yeah, the other one, her <laughs> name is Denise, even though I'm not, you know, yeah. Yeah. Patty, you want the lapidolite heart for 22? You got it. Thank you. That, I love lapidolite. I know. I have some lapidolite towers if anyone's interested too. And I'm going to show some new towers I got. And I got new spheres in too. Oh, what sounds are we expected to see? Oh, and new stands. <laughs> Oh, cool. Lots of good stuff. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. I have these beautiful sodalite towers. I'll show these next. These are all $18 choice. $18, buy it now. There's three of them. They are a gorgeous shade of blue and nicely polished. Beautiful sodalite. One is special and has flash on it. So it has another material in there that's giving it flash. And this is the one. So number one is this one here, beautiful, high quality soda light. And then the flash is right here on the top. It's right here. See that? Soda light doesn't normally have flash, so I'm not sure what material is in there with that, but that's really cool and unique. So that's number one with the flash. Reason, it reminds me of like a butterfly wing or something when it flashes. <laughs> yeah, right? The iridescence. This is number two. Very beautiful. And I couldn't find any flash in um, these other ones. Cindy, Patty just got the little part for 22. Is that the one? Yeah, sorry, Cindy. I think you're still lagging. And then here's number three. It's just a little shorter and chunkier. And it has a little um, chunk taken out there in the top there. Could be natural, I'm not sure. Less white on the bottom than the other ones. Okay, thank you, Patty. Which one were you interested in? The one with the flash, number one? <laughs> Carol. <laughs> yes, yeah, Cindy, I'm so sorry. Oh, Cindy, I already sold the $8 heart, too. Oh. 
All right, so first off, make sure you're on live chat. Second, click the video so you can see the little live at the bottom of the screen. If it's not red, click it and that will refresh you to here. Yeah, let me show you where to look on my phone. Are you, I'm, wait, oh no, you're on your computer. She's on her computer. She said restart. It's, you can computer. still you can still refresh on your computer. Really? Okay. It's, so you, you click the thing and write it. So at the bottom of the screen in the video is the timeline of the video because you can go all the way back to the beginning of it. Next to how long we've been on is a little. Th it's a little word and it just says live. L I V E. If that is not lit up red, then you're then you're behind and you just have to click that and then it'll refresh you up to where we are now and it'll be red. Don't tell her to refresh now, otherwise she's not going to hear anything I just said. Right. <laughs> okay, Patty, which one were you interested in? Patty, number one with the flash. Number two, flash one. That's what I thought. Thank you. Yeah, but you need to type it to her, though, because she can't. She's lagging. But if you tell her to refresh, she's going to miss everything I said. It's true. <laughs> That's why I typed it in there. Because <laughs> if she refreshes, she's not going to see it. Rebooting your computer isn't going to help you not lag. <laughs> you know, right now, I'm showing on, the light towers. Ow, my finger. Uh, Kara wants to know if you saw her message. No, I did not see your message. In here or privately? I'll look at I don't know. She just said, did you see my message? Thank you, I Patty. don't know. If anyone's interested in the other two sodalite towers, they're beautiful shade of blue. Beautiful, high-quality sodalite. Nicely polished. They're just gorgeous. Let me know. They're 18. Miranda, do you have YouTube premium? No. I do not. Okay, Cindy, I'm about to show some spheres. All right, these are all $18. They're choice. $18 choice. Three spheres to choose from. Number one is Leopard Skin Jasper. Was the tip okay on that tower that Patty got? Oh, um, yeah, looks fine. Yep. Looks nice and sharp. Thank you, Patty. Okay, Leopard Skin Jasper is number one. Again, these are 18 choice. Number two is Petrified Wood. It's a beautiful sphere with a lot of pink in it as well. I know you're getting a glare from my light. Petrified Wood is number two, and then number three is Ocean Jasper. And this one is really pretty. But that's just because it's one of my favorite materials. Got yellows in there. We have pyrite. That's not very common. It's pyrite right in here. See all that? Really pretty. And then we've got like a light blue sort of color coming through there. Really pretty color combo. There is a bug. It's a little bug there. But yeah, the pyrite makes it pretty, pretty cool. So that's number three, Ocean Jasper. So those Someone guys are type in there to Cindy not to leave and to just make sure that she's on live chat and to make sure that the live button is red. So when you click the screen and you see the little live, make sure it's red. Basically, just tell her that. Because bes besides that, I don't I don't know how else to to make it up there. Brenda is saying all she can think of is you need to check that the live is red. The live is red. Otherwise, you'll be lying. And live chat, because if you're on top chat, that can put you behind too. What is it on the bottom left? 
She said, I'm a computer tech. I know what to do. Oh. I'm trying to help. <laughs> I've never re rebooted my stuff to to make it to make it not lag before. Carrie, you broke the stones. All right, well these guys are eighteen. If there's any interest, just let me know. You. Dang, Cindy. They, they sound like bull balls when you clank them. I know. I love the way stones sound against each other. This one like pool balls. That was and Kara, Kara broke her stones. <laughs> I don't know how that happened, Kara. Which one? <laughs> she got him in and then she busted him. Goodness. Was that your three? It was, yep. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm holding the last thing to wrap and it's that big. Denise Nino Lover said 18, number three. For the soda yeah. lighter, right? Oh no, just kidding. For your ocean, ignore me. Yeah. yeah, for the the Thank one you. you break open. Oh, Thank you, Denise. The geode. Oh, the geode. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dumb. I'll read your message. I'll, I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> We were hoping it was the one you're supposed to break, not the one that you accidentally broke or something. All right. Buy it now. Dragon Bloodstone Towers. These are big, chunky guys. I'm going to go in order of smallest to biggest. So the less expensive to the most expensive. This one is $15. It is a big, chunky guy. My light keeps like making me mad. So this is Dragon Bloodstone. Uh, what's your most expensive that you're showing? Um, it's going to go 15, 20, 30. He's really big. So that's how big this guy is. It's got a nice red tip compared to my head. That's the that's number one. He's fifteen. Number two is a uh, shorter but way fatter, and he is twenty. And these are all really big, like they're they're big towers. So they're nice big sizes. Lots of nice red in there. So that's number two. And then number three is the big Bama Jamma for 30. He's quite thick. Try to get the light on there. There we go. Got really nice red spots. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is hard to do one handed. Okay. So, those are those guys. If you want one, let me know. They're 15, 20, and 30. And again, they're, they're really big, they're nice and pretty. Elizabeth, you want my big my, my big boy? Yeah, his tip's pretty cool. He's got lots of red around that top there. Right, let me switch arms here. I feel like I'm carrying around a baby. <laughs> All right. Thank you, girlfriend. I got you. Big dragon blood tower. Thank, thank you. Um, I 
I'm going to do these Kesa Raw Towers real quick. I've got a 15 and an 18. Yep. Got you, girl. Is hers. So this is number one. This is the $15 one. This is Kesa Raw. I think. Right, Gina? This light is horrible. Yeah. These are, again, what your uh, um, highest, or are they all 15? Uh, this one's 15 and the other one's 18. And this one's got a lot of nice, really uh, good blue pieces on him. Joanne wants to know what a jersey is. Do you have a jersey you can show her? Yes. I do. I'll go grab it. <laughs> this is the $18 one. It's thicker and taller. Oh, and it's got a lot of colors in it. Oh, that's super nice. All right, let me go grab that big sphere there. I'm just trying not to drop your... I gotta bubble wrap your rabbit. <laughs> He's the last thing that needs bubble wrap. You guys want to see something pretty? I'm going to show you. This is a Drudy. All right, Maury, I got you for the 15. That leaves the 18 available. Now this is cephalorite. It is a cephalorite sphere. It is a big guy. How much is that? He is 50. I think the other one was 60, right? He's got two really big caverns right there. Wow, Elizabeth. AKA Spider Hidey Hole. I don't think after her couple of spiders she wants to see her stuff. It's a nice, it's a nice big guy. And then since I went over there and got it, I also grabbed the uh, the moonstone that I have, the rainbow moonstone. This is the last piece I have and I'm never getting any more. So if you want some. You gotta, gotta get it from me, I guess. And this guy is 70. Unless somebody else has it. I don't know if they do. He is the bigger of the two spheres that I had. He is 70. It's a very expensive uh, piece of stone. And, oh, it's got a beautiful thing on there. Hang on, I gotta take you off to see this. Good night, fairy. You gotta see this guy. Well, now I can show you under the jerseys more. Into those caverns. That's the celery guy. He's beautiful. And here is the moonstone. It looks like your sloth behind you is flying. <laughs> I stuck his arm into the pipe. Where did he go? There. You can see that, right? Yep, I see the flash. Cool. It's a nice blue flash. On this half. And then it's got little bits of flash. Um, on the other parts of it, but this is the biggest piece. I love it. It's so pretty. Good. I just really want to make sure you guys saw that. I love it. 
So this one's 70. It's the last piece I have. If you want it, let me know. And we're going to go on to Gina. And here's the other. Well, girl, if you want one that has a nice blue flash, hit me up. You know where to get it. <laughs> the one Gina got is absolutely amazing. That sucker flashes literally around the whole thing. It's a solid, continuous flash. It's crazy. All right, I've got two sphalerite spheres. One's big, one's smaller. It's purple sphalerite. Um, they're a little on the wobbly side. The bigger one does lean a little bit, but they are 23 and 45. Here's a $23 one. Again, this is sphalerite, it's purple sphalerite. This is 23. These don't have like the druzy pockets like the spheres do though. There are two small purple crystals though right there. You kind of see the flash on one of them when I move it. Um, oh, there's a little druzy pocket there. What I mean is like the pockets, the Jersey pockets just aren't as large on the spheres as they are on these towers. There's some Jersey running through here. Again, this is 23. It is a more expensive material. This is the $45 one. It does have white and then purple going through it. It's a good size tower. We got some some crystals there. I wouldn't really call them druzy, but they're like some crystally pockets. Get some like window quartz in there, window druzy. Another one right there. Okay, Maury. Purple sphalerite is more expensive than the uh, the white sphalerite. But still a big tower. And it's uh, almost five and a quarter inches tall. And it sort of tapers, gets smaller at the top. So these are the two sphalerite towers I have. Hi, Book, Bew Book Bewitched. Jeez, Maury. All right, if you're interested in those, just let me know. Um, I did get some new spheres in. I showed the $18 ones earlier. Um, I did get a blue goldstone sphere in. This guy is 42. 42 for blue goldstone. Oh, I forgot to price my stands I got. Good size sphere, 42. Okay, that's right. Um, and then I've got some new sphere stands. Well, I just got two because I kept some, but um, we have a pentacle sphere stand. This guy is 20. This resin pentacle stand is 20. It's black with gold detail. Holds this large sphere nicely. I know, Christy, I thought totally thought of you. <laughs> And then I guess for my third item, so I sort of snuck that in there. Um, I've got a K2 sphere. This sphere is $28. And I have an Egyptian cat stand. This is 12. 
Oh, Maury's in at 20. She wants a pentacle stand. Thank you, Maury. Oh. You're bidding. Okay. Well, I mean, we can bid. That's fine. Okay, so Denise is in at 21. Maury is out, so it's going to Denise. All right, thank you, Denise. Sorry, I didn't know there was multiple interest. All right, Pentacle Stand is yours, Denise. Thank you. I didn't say either, Maury. I just said 20. I can get more. Um, I think you should technically sell it to Maury since Maury came in at 20 and then you said sold. I did say that, didn't I? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, ladies. I just don't know what to do when that happens. It's a good learning thing. Because, like, it, like, checks you. I know. Yeah. And then I feel bad. Okay, yeah. So to Maury. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please don't be bad. I can get more, Denise. I might have to order more than one. And then again, the K2 sphere is 28, and the Egyptian cat sphere stand is 12. And that was my three. I'm sorry. I feel bad. <laughs> All right, I'm doing a quick one. It's going to be all three by it now. It's because my dog is crying to go Aww. to the bathroom. This is a little pumpkin. It's a nice little ceramic pumpkin. He is $6. $6 for... Oops, my goodness. I'm going to go for the pumpkin. You got stuff in the chat. Make sure you, you see it. <laughs> That's how those words came out today. Cindy, the cat sphere holder is yours. I see you came in first. Thank you, Cindy. All right, this is a bunch of brass candle holders. You're going to get this one, which is a three tiered one. It's got really nice little floral carvings on there. that guy so that you're gonna get that one you're gonna get this one which is like a double one and this one's from the from the body shop and then you're also gonna get this pair that says 1284 929 or something on it you're gonna get these these pair as well so you're gonna get all three I'll do all three for 25 bucks. And they're all beautiful brass and they're all nicely carved. Um, Michelle, do you want the Moonstone Sphere I have? I'm not getting any more, so if you want one, <laughs> you better snatch it before somebody else does. I'm serious. It's too expensive. I can't. Yeah, they are. It's too big of a gamble. Like, if it was, like, 100%, I would get it and, like, you guys would want it, then I can, but it's just... It's hard to get, and it's expensive as hell, and I'm not doing it. So, <laughs> if you want it, get it. Otherwise, it'll just sit here until it finds its forever home. So, you get all these brass candle holders for 25 bucks. They are all very, very pretty. Uh, this big first one is stamped India on the inside. I love the flowers on that one. So pretty. Love that. So, we got India, the body shop. And then this one is marked that. So, all those brass candle holders are 25 bucks. Hey, Gwentia. And then I need one more thing. And my dog's going to go to the bathroom. I almost forgot. Destiny, don't pee inside. Sorry. Maury, you can have mine. <laughs> uh, Thanks, Maury. This is 
Royal Bay Reef Bavaria. It's a little tomato. You didn't buy a Moonstone Sphere! You got a tower. <laughs> she keeps thinking that she you're going to be really sad, Michelle, when you don't get a Sphere. Because <laughs> she, thinks, she thinks she bought one, but she didn't get one. You didn't get one, but I love you. Um, this has got chips up here that have been, like, lightly painted over. I'll just do five bucks for this guy. He's five bucks for the Bavaria tomato. So five bucks for the Bavaria tomato. Twenty-five dollars for one, two, three, four brass candle holders. One from India, one from the body shop, and one that's got those weird numbers on it. Or six dollars for the ceramic pumpkin. If you want it, let me know. And uh, Gina's going to go on for a minute because i got to go take care of my pets. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Michelle, did you really claim the blue gold stone and I just missed it? Let me know, please. And Maury, you, I gave you my backup. Are you sure? It's, it's identical. It's identical. It came in with the other one. I literally just had a sphere sitting on it for like a day. I just got it yesterday. Are you That's sure? really pretty. That's gorgeous. I completely missed that. I don't know what I was doing. All right, uh, Jewel T, I got you for that tomato. <laughs> okay. Yep, and I can get more. <laughs> okay. Um, I think I saw someone asking to see the blue goldstone sphere earlier. Well, here it is again. Again, it's 42. And I know my lighting is not that great. Um, and I'm getting glare from my, uh, my lights, but it is pretty sparkly. Elizabeth, the kitty stand is $12. I can get more. I just sold the uh, only two I had, but I can get more. I actually just had another request through a message. <laughs> Michelle, thank you. Yeah, it's beautiful. Okay, Elizabeth, <laughs> I'll order some more. Thank you. <laughs> I can get more pentacle ones too, if anyone wants those. Um, okay, next I'm gonna show this garden quartz tower. It's a nice chunky garden quartz and it's 35 by it now. A star sphere, hole. yes. Denise, you mean the pentacle, right? Yes, cause you actually. We're bidding against Maury. Yep, I'll get more of those too. So I got this beautiful garden quartz tower. A lot going on inside. I'll be able to show better with my phone. Did Christy stuff away? Yep, Denise, it's a uh, pentacle. And I'll just type this in. Buy it now for 35. It's got a really cool, like, uh, chevron sort of thing going up at the top there. See that? It's like a chevron pattern inside.
Just have a lot of mossiness on the back there. Kara, no, I didn't get your email yet. I can check in a sec though. The rainbow there on top. Hey, Cha Cha. So this beautiful garden quartz tower is 35 if anyone's interested. It's got a lot going on inside. All right, and next I'm gonna show some pink sardonyx. I don't think Christy's back. And these are buy it now of 12 choice. look like this. They're dyed sardonyx agate. Number one, we'll say number one is the darker pink one. Sardonyx is a, um, it's a, a combination of agate and onyx and you get all these really cool um, swirls in there. That's all natural, the banding in there. There's the back, but this one's just been dyed pink. Like they often do with agates, <laughs> dye them. So that's number one. And then number two is just a little thicker and it's lighter pink, but it still has that really cool banding on it that Sardonyx has. Hey, Cat D. Thank you. And which one were you interested in? Number one is the darker pink one. And number two is the lighter pink one. Number one, thank you. And if anyone's, <laughs> I know Chacha, right? Well, they're still here, <laughs> but they're muted. All right, thank you, Kat D. And if anyone's interested in the other one, just let me know. Cha -cha. You hate it when other people do that on other channels, and you're going to come in here and do it? <laughs> Hypocrite. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. Hey, Katzi. What's up, girlfriend? I'm outside with my dogs while they're peeing. All right, I have this beautiful tree agate tower I'm showing next. It is a buy it now of 35. Large tower, beautiful tree agate. It does have, I know this jersey in this one. No, no jersey. Oh, well, no, it's just like a pocket. Two like little mini pockets. Pretty good. How are you doing, Kat D? Cha-cha. <laughs> Bye. All right. You still outside, Miranda? Yeah, my dog is attacking something. Oh, that's great. All right, next I'm gonna show a clear quartz cluster. 
And I can start this at 12, starting bid 12. It's really pretty. Um, I can show you how it sits. There's the bottom. And then it does stand, but it's kind of like leaning. Like so. Absolutely, Maury. Thank you. Yep. But you still want the cat, right? Tonight, you still want that one? The extra that I had? So that guy's 12, if there's any interest, because I don't think anyone's interested. Okay, yep, no problem. Thanks, Maury. All right. Um, next I'll show another quartz cluster. This is also going to be a starting bit of 12. This looks like it might have natural iron deposit on it. It is like, like a peachy color. Wow, my camera is totally washing the color out. But it's a very thin, spiky um, crystal point cluster. Not so spiky though that you can't touch it because I can still touch it. But they're really small and skinny. And it does sit. Still got the dirt coming off of it like it's fresh from the ground. <laughs> All right, that was my three, Miranda. Are you back in yet? I just got inside. I gotta plug my phone back in. Ow. Where's my charger? Here it is. Okay. Um, I've got some angel aura clusters. These are all I buy it now. Number one is $15. Number two is fifteen dollars. Number three is thirty. It's 
It's a bigger one. And number four is 40. And oopsies. here's what some jewelry displayed on it looks like. Let me know if anyone's interested in any of those. And then I had the rainbow, rainbow moonstone. I can't get that. There it is. It's got a really big flash right there. This guy is 70. I can show him better if you want. That flash is super pretty. And then I've got this cephalorite for 50. Full of beautiful druzy pack. There's that guy, and then you know, there's something in my eye. Mm. And I've got this. Luster wear elephant for ten. If anyone's interested in any of that stuff, just let me know. I'm gonna go back on over to Gina. That was super fast. I'm running out of steam. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I don't think Christy's back, so I can type these. I have some more fossilized starfish. They're a starting bit of $10 choice. I have four of them. One of them is special. Here's number one. Here's number two. Here's number three. And then number four has a baby growing on it. <laughs> so two for one. Hey, Cha Cha. I still have work to do tonight. Number four is special. So those are a $10 start, your choice. Thank you, Cat D. Which one would you like? It's a starting bid. I keep forgetting. <laughs> All right, Cat D, high bid of 10. I'm running out of steam too. That's why I'm not super bright right now. <laughs> okay, Cha Cha. All right, there's no other interest, so I'll start calling it to Cat D. All right, Cat D, if I were you, I'd go with this one. Because that's pretty cool. You don't see these that often. But let me know. Otherwise, the prettiest, like the most perfect one looks like number two. Number two has just got a beautiful top to it. It's like nearly flawless. Yeah, number four.
Oh, Cat D, do you want both or do you want to give Cindy number two? Because it looks like Cindy asked for number two before, even though you claimed it. No, it's up to you, Cat. You you had the winning bid, so it's really up to you. But if you want to share, you can. <laughs> Are you sure? Okay. Okay. She she said she would said you could have it. All right. Thanks, ladies. <laughs> right, Michelle? All right. Thank you, ladies. If you change your mind for some reason, just let me know. If anyone would like one of the other two for 10, just let me know. Fossilized starfish. Oh, they're picking on Cha Cha. <laughs> Don't be mean to my mom. <laughs> Does anyone like blue calcite? <laughs> I get some blue calcite spears. <clears throat> How much longer do you want to stay on, Miranda? Um, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven towers I'm going to show, one a heart, and then I'm done. Okay. So I'm going to go one more turn and then let you go until you don't want to. Okay. You want to just go now? Sure. Okay. I don't know how many you showed. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, I don't remember. Two? Okay. <laughs> All these towers are by it now. Just put the number that you want in there or tell me the material. Number one is $12. It is a Kiwi tower. Number two is a case of raw tower for 18. Number three is 15. It is a dragon bloodstone tower. It's pretty big. Number four is 20. It is a chunky bloodstone tower. Number five is uh I don't know what it's called. I always call it like a pink and light blue zebra. The other one I had had more pink in it though. This one's 15. And that is number five. Number six, I have no idea what this is. He is 15. And number seven is 18. So if anyone wants any of those towers, let me know. And then for $6, I have this Tim Coffee Ceramic Heart. Something take away my foot. <laughs> I could be a romance novel. That's what I got. Let me know if you need me to show it again. Otherwise, I've got these uh, vintage Italian dolls. I can do $12 each. This will be number one for $12. And she has a fabric face. Vintage, made in Venice, Italy, dolls. Mm -hmm. And the second one, I can also do it for $12. She looks like this. Also, she has a fabric face.
So there we go. Those are $12 each. Or I can do 20 for the pair if you're in love with them. So $12 each or 20 for the pair. $6 for the heart. And then all the towers are different prices. Good night, Maury. Any interest in any of that stuff? Otherwise, you guys can tell me, pay us. She, Kara wants more geodes. Yep, I have lots of geodes, Kara. I'm going to give you one to replace the one that broke. And then they're $4 each. <clears throat> oh, Sandy. Uh, Kara, I've got the new with tags, 4X red and white striped shirt. That one's 10 bucks. If you want to see them again, I can show you. Um, I think I have a couple 4X shirts that I just got that are out in the garage, but I don't know when I'm going to be showing those. All right, looks like you're passing on all my stuff. There's Gina. <laughs> sure, you can do whatever you want with a geode. I mean, if you want to paint it, you can, but I mean, I wouldn't. It may be cool to paint the outside, though. Um, I can just start, sh I can just show what uh, didn't sell. Wrap it up if you want, Miranda. You can do whatever you want. Still have the K2 sphere for 28. K2 is granite and um, azurite. Cute. It's a very powerful stone, energy wise. Um, still have the petrified wood for 18 and leopard skin jasper spheres. Those are 18. Cindy said that will work for me. Did you see that? Is that for you? No idea. <laughs> okay. Oh, I felt really off tonight being out of sync with you guys. I know. I'm so sorry, Cindy. That's awful. I uh, still have the garden court. Kara, okay. did you want to see the shirt again? Is that what you mean? All right. Hang on. We okay. must have a really bad lag right now. Yeah, maybe. New with tags. It's super lightweight and breathable. It's not going to be hot at all. <laughs> so. Yeah. All right. Gina. Where am I? There we are. What does she mean when she says, I just wanted to pop more? I don't know. <laughs> oh, do you mean your, you mean your geode? <laughs> hey, you could do whatever you want to the exterior. That's kind of a cool idea. Uh, okay, the garden quartz is 35 A big piece of garden quartz. It's an expensive material. Um, I still have a pink sardonyx. Um, stone for 12 Still have the two fossilized starfish for 10. Still have the spalerite towers. This one is 23. Again, this is an expensive material. Purple spalerite uh, is more expensive than the white and the brown. This one is 45. Very cool spalerite. I still have two sodalite towers left. These guys were 18. Beautiful quality sodalite, very blue. Nicely polished. Kara, you're okay. It's all right, guys. Everything's yeah. fine. No worries. Cindy said that it works for her seeing all the stuff that didn't sell. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> um, I showed this clear quartz specimen for 12. Cluster specimen. Um, <clears throat> this little rose quartz owl was seven. Cindy, you said I want the second blue one. 
oh, okay, the sodalite. Just so you know, one of these sodalite towers has a little chunk taken out of that. So just let me know. This one here has some white at the bottom. Which Wait, is those are 18. No, 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 Jake, just kidding. I thought someone else got the tower, but they were talking about a sphere earlier. Oh, yeah. Well, Patty grabbed one of these. I had three sodalite towers. This, the all blue one with no white in the bottom has a little chunk at the top taken out in case that bothers you. And then this one here has some white at the bottom. They're both 18. So, Cindy, just let me know if you want to say blue or white. Blue or white. I don't know what you mean. One with a white. Uh, Kara, if you mean what does the tag say on the, 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 the clove thing, it's a Liz Claiborne size 4X. And it's 100% polyester. It's a very soft, lightweight, breathable material. Um, it's super lightweight, but it's not see-through. Thank you, Cindy. If, if that helps. <laughs> What's the pink one, Gina? That is sardonyx. It's actually, the material is a combination of agate and onyx. And it has this really crazy natural banding like that. And this has been dyed pink. Just like, you know, they would dye an agate. So that's what Sardonyx is, and it's like a, um, a palm stone, and it's $12. Cat D, the purple and white towers are sphalerite. Let's pull it out. Sphalerite. It's an expensive material, especially the purple. The smaller tower is 23 It does have some small druzies on it. Uh, I'm going to have to go chill What, Christy? I have to go chill elsewhere. <laughs> have okay. a good night, guys. You too, Christy. Goodbye, Christy. I love you. Thank you. Um, All right. What, the one? what was the purple and white tower? Cindy said, I want the pink piece also. And then Gina says, the fellow right. And then Pat said, 12. <laughs> okay, so Cindy came in first for the pink piece then. We're a mess tonight. <laughs> yeah, please please forgive us, guys. <laughs> okay, Cindy, Cindy did come in first. She, she claimed the pink piece, so that is Cindy. Sorry, Pat. Um, okay, thank you, Cindy. I feel like I've been in a mess for like a couple weeks. You know? Yes, I hear you. And then um, the other sphalerite is uh, this is a big tower, and this one's forty-five. Ooh, that one's pretty. I like the white on him. Yeah, it's really cool. It's got a lot of white. There isn't like a ton of impressive jersey on it, but it's still got like window crystals, basically like beneath the surface. But yeah, it is really pretty, especially if you like purple. Yes, Mercury retrograde. Okay. Cindy says if Pat wants it, she can have it. Okay, I'll leave that between you two. <laughs> so yes, Valorate Towers. Expensive material. I also have a Spellerite Sphere, but I know Miranda has some too. She showed hers earlier. Um, yeah, but mine are a lot different from yours. Did show yours too? Mine looks similar to yours. Oh, really? Yeah, it's 55. Oh, that doesn't look anything like the ones I got. <laughs> Okay, well, yeah, they're all, this is one of the whiter ones. I also have a purple one, but I'm not sure that I want to sell that one yet. Um, the purple ones are way more expensive, too. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is 55. It's, it's a big sphere. And it's got a lot of bugs, like, on this side, on this back half. A lot of, like bugs Did you, and the front is pretty impressive with its jersey it's got a lot of bugs bugs <laughs> bug with a v <laughs> you say that all the time oh my god 
Yeah, these are called bugs when they're like these pockets. Yep. Oh. So that's the spellerate that I have. And it's 55. He's pretty cool. So if you displayed it like just showing this side, that's what I would do. Because this back side is I mean it's cool, but it's not, you know, as impressive as the jersey pockets. I think both sides are equally impressive. Well the one side, the side with the jersey reminds me of like a spider cave. Yeah. Like all webbed up. And then the other side reminds me of like um those cities that were like built into the side of cliffs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay i love it i feel like we just found like some lost ruins <laughs> oh that looks like a heart right Aww. there it's a heart it loves you <laughs> <laughs> yeah but that's a spell right i have and again it's, it's a big sphere and it is an expensive material and that's 55 you'll pass on that pat okay no problem well cindy still has the pink piece Okay, I'm then, eating a sandwich and I feel better now. Good. <laughs> so maybe you were just hungry. Maybe, but after I eat, then I have to take a nap. <laughs> it's a mess. I eaten in a while either. I think that was all I showed. And I, I still have these anatomical hearts for 25 if anyone's interested. I'm just surprised I still have these. I think they're so cool. <laughs> No, not bugs. Bugs with a V. <laughs> like a jug, but with a V. Bug. A bug. Like a vent. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> bug. <laughs> yeah, that was oh and I no one got no one claimed the dino for three dollars. Very cute baby blue dino. Yeah, want breakfast in bed, sleep in the kitchen. This guy was two. <laughs> and I still have the cottage core mugs. They were $8 for the set. Very cute with like farm animals on them. Oh, Patty came in for the dino. Thank you, Patty. Yep, Denise. It was a dollar start thing. I don't know if I'll ever do that again. I might, but if I do, it won't be for a while. <laughs> Thank you, Patty. And again, those uh, mugs are $8 for the set. Super cute. Cottage core vibes. It's got geese, sheep, pigs, a cow. And they're identical, and you get both for, for $8. They look vintage. And I think that was it that I showed tonight. I do have a lot more stones, but yeah. <laughs> you can show some more if you want. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Are you, uh, do you want to come on tomorrow night? You're coming on tomorrow night? Yeah, yeah, I have to come on every night until I leave. I can if you want. All right, it's set in stone now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. I may as well, because you'll be gone for a while. <laughs> this guy is 20. He's my last or angel or a heart that I have left. Gina, what are those 25? Oh, they're anatomical hearts. They're shaped like the real human heart. They're like human hearts. They call them anatomical hearts. Because they're, you know, anatomically correct. And they're made from uh, red vein jasper. Sure, Cindy. Um, you got the sodalite tower. You got a lab heart.
you got a fossilized starfish. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's all I'm seeing. You didn't get any hard goods, just stones. Okay, cool, Denise, no problem. No, Kara. I, I only go on with Miranda. I don't I don't I don't do auctions by myself. No problem, thank you. <clears throat> um oh, did I show the rose quartz owl? Still have him for seven. The heart is a non-smoker, right? <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty healthy. <laughs> <laughs> jo Joanne, she's not always ready. She usually she hangs out with her uh, with her main squeeze a lot. Yeah, and and it's also just because we live in a small apartment, so it's like to be. I'm in my living room right now, so you know. I still have this ocean jasper sphere. It's a very large sphere. It's actually the biggest sphere that I've ever had to sell. <clears throat> this guy is uh, 60. I, th I think we determined that it was an inch smaller than a softball. I think someone said 11 inches was a softball or 12, and this one was like an inch under. Cindy, you did get the pink piece. Where is it? Oh, I fell behind here. That's why. Yep, Cindy, it's right here. It's in a secure space. It just slipped under a bag. <laughs> 12 is softball. Yeah, Cindy, I think you were the one. Yeah, this is like just under 11 inches around. It's very big. So this guy's 60 for that ocean jasper sphere. And then I still have the Kambaba jasper and I knocked him down to 38, if anyone's interested. This is still a good size sphere. 38. Kambaba jasper. Which one, Cindy? This one, you love the Kambaba? I love this too. It reminds me of like Tim Burton art. All the swirls and stuff. It's very like Tim Burton-esque. And that's fossilized um, algae. The little green dots. They're like billions of years old. <laughs> Stromulites? Stromulites. I never remember that name. <laughs> it's the oldest living organism on the planet. Yeah, I do remember their algae, fossilized algae. Mm -hmm. So it's technically alive, but it's fossilized. Oh. Oldest thing on the planet, baby. Isn't that crazy? It is crazy. Yeah. It's crazy how old fossils are. They're like millions of years old. But those are like billions of years old. Just Yeah, it's just mind-blowing. <laughs> Carolyn, they're made out of resin. They're a sturdy resin material. Like, I'm going to get some more. Egyptian cats. Really cute. And I was going to get some more of these, too. Pentacle. 
This these hold the uh, bigger ones too. I don't know if it would hold the ocean jasper. Yeah, oh yeah. Yep. All right, I think, I think that's good, Miranda. I think we're good. Cat D wants you to put the ocean jasper on the cats and see if it fits on there. Oh, I think that's too big. I mean, I'm sure it would work. Let me try it on the table first. Yeah, it holds it. Oh, no, she wants you to put the, um, the, the Kimbaba one on there. Oh, the Kambaba. That looks good. It does look good together. Okay, Cindy, I'll send you an email with uh, pictures of your invoices and stuff Um, uh, tonight. I'll do that tonight after I take a nap. <laughs> the K2 looks pretty good. You want that sphere? Yay! Thank you, Cat D. I'm sad to see that go. It's been here with me for so long. Okay, Cat. <laughs> Will do. Thank you. Sold to you. Thank you. I love that sphere. Oh, I still got these green tourmalines. These are 12 green tourmalated quartz. One's taller and skinnier, and the other one's just chunkier. Those are 12. Sorry, I still have those left. I mean, I got a ton of towers, but those are just sitting there next to the Kambaba. Cindy, she did. She bought the Kambaba Jasper. The cat holder is 12. And I'm, I need to order more. You better write down all the people who want one so you know how many to get. I hope you've been doing that. I haven't. Oh, God. <laughs> I've been, like, just keeping it in my... I know Maury wanted a pentacle and a cat. Carolyn wants a cat. Yeah, Maury wants one of each of the spear holders that you showed tonight. Yo, Cat D wants a cat. Um, Sugar Plum wanted a cat. Cindy, I can I can try. Sometimes it's hard to find <clears throat> certain materials and sometimes they're like, then they're there next time you look. Nino. That's right, Denise wanted a pent pentacle. <laughs> hey, Terry. <laughs> That's <laughs> 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 so funny. Okay, I'll leave that kambaba between you, uh, Cindy, and um, Kat D. Just let me know. Yep, this she is wants, the, she wants to see it on one of the stands. Oh, okay. um, the holders. Um. Well, it's kind of big for the cats. I would not put it on the cats. But here it is on a pentacle. See, it's got a, because of that, the bugs in the back. You got to be careful of that. But here it is on the pentacle. Yeah, the pentacle holds bigger spears. 
What happens when you put it on the cat? Um, I just think it's kind of big for it. I mean, I don't know how strong the cats are. I mean, I'm sure it's fine. They are pretty sturdy. I mean, it does look good. Yeah. I think those cats are, look good with everything. <laughs> <laughs> everything you put on there, it looks super cool. Just a cool stand, right? <laughs> You want the sphalerite? Well, awesome. Thank you, Terry. Terry, did you want one of the sphere stands or the sphere well, or both? Just to yeah. clarify. Yeah, because I sold out of the cat stands tonight, but I'm going to order more. I have a list of people now. <laughs> Would you like me to order you a cat stand as well? They're twelve dollars. But this one is the Spalerite Sphere is yours. Thank you. Carolyn said, "You're right, Miranda. I don't know what I'm right about, but that's pretty cool. I love being right. That's awesome. <laughs> I don't know what I did." <laughs> so who's getting the Kumbaba Jasper? Is Cat D still getting the Kambaba? Yes, on Cat Stand. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Terry. No, Carolyn, your box is not taped closed. It's not even packed yet. That's what I got to do when I get up. <laughs> Okay, Cindy, thank you. And thank you again, Cat D. I'll look for another one, Cindy. I can look for, for another one. Kambaba? Kambaba. <laughs> Kambiaba. <laughs> Kambiaba. <laughs> yeah, Carolyn, if you want to add something, you can. It's got to be something I showed tonight, though, because I'm shipping it out tomorrow. Kara wants a cat stand, too, if you didn't get that. I did not. Thank you, Kara. Absolutely, Terry. I'm still holding your, your crocheted blanket, don't forget. And I don't. I can hold it however long you want me to. Not a problem. Um, and ter Terry, I got a couple things here, too, I'm holding for you. I didn't think you were in a rush. <laughs> Just let me know. <laughs> Um, Miranda, may I know how many coming packages you're shipping out to me? One. It's coming in one package. Um, I billed you for, uh, for one package price. So I'm going to do my best to get it all in one package. Some of them are kind of big. So I just have to dig to find a box big enough and then, uh, and put it all in there. So it should be pretty good. It should be fine. My dog is barking. Can you hear it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love that. He's like down the hall, too. Oh, my goodness. Well, thank you, everyone. I'm in bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my back hurts. I've been running around doing stuff pretty much all day. And then we sat down in my uncomfortable chair and drew stuff. <laughs> oh, my God, Dante. Thank you, Kara. Thank you, everyone. Are we leaving? Yeah, I think we're... Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Don't just stop. He's being a little punk. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right, Carolyn, let me know if you want something. You just type in here, send me an email, a message, a text to Rooney. Whatever. Um... I mean, if you want me to hold the one package for a little bit, I can. Because uh, you've got two boxes coming, and the one box is already up. Miranda, I wanted to see the jewelry box again. I'm too late. Well, e so I think Denise is getting that big one. Um, I sent her an email with all of them. 
But if she ends up passing on it, which I think I think she really wants it. If she ends up passing on it, then I can send you uh, the pictures I sent her to you. We'll figure it out. All right. Good night, guys. Good night, guys. Thanks so much. See you tomorrow night. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye.